My name is uh, Tarleton Blackwell. Uh, I'm the exhibiting artist for this evening, and we've been working very hard uh, to pull this show together. And uh, I'm very excited. I, um, I'm the fourth artist in my family, and I have um, an older sister that um, has a degree in art, uh, in art education, and uh, my uh, oldest brother uh, studied uh, portrait painting at uh, Pierre School of Art, that's uh, New Haven, Connecticut. And uh, my um, uh, second oldest brother, uh, that's uh, next to me, um, uh, his, his name was John, and John also studied uh, art education in, uh, at uh, Benedict College, and I'm the youngest, so I just fell in line with uh, my older brothers and and uh, and my older sister, and and um, here I am. Yeah. There's one nice thing about um, uh, painting is, um, you know, is. Uh, you can do um, self-portraits. You know, you can paint yourself. And uh, I enjoy painting other people, but um, um, uh, it is quite different, you know, when, when you can actually do a painting of yourself. And uh, so this is a self-portrait of the artist. And this is a portrait of my uh, uh, my dog at the time. He's um, his name was uh, General, and uh, so so the title of this is Tarleton Blackwell and um, uh, General uh, Conwallis. That's his full name is General Conwallis, and it deals with. Um, um, I guess uh, my family heritage. Um, uh, my um, great great grandfather was a British uh, general, and his name. And um, uh, there was a conflict between um, his. Um, um, he at that when he came to America, he was a lieutenant. Um, and um, but there was a, a sort of controversy between uh, his general and um, uh, and the lieutenant um, Tarleton. So um, so it deals, you know, it says something about my family heritage, and then um, then it deals with um, um, you know a portrait of the arts. It's been a really um, um, you know, wonderful career, and um, uh, uh, you know that I couldn't, you know, could share with my uh, brothers and sisters and my community and the, uh, the uh, South Carolina and uh, the southeastern United States. Um, that's just, um, uh, you know, it's been a pleasure. Each piece um, sort of deals with different issues. Um, take, for instance, this piece here. Um, this piece um, is part of my hog series. I think it's something like um, 210 in a series entitled The Hog Series. It deals with my, my first objective was to create um, a family portrait. And, um, uh, but at the same time, I wanted to say something about, um, you know, the artists I studied. Um, uh, I was at the um, uh, Metropolitan Museum in New York, and um, I was a senior at, um, at undergraduate, I mean, yeah, undergraduate school and um, um, I was exhibiting there 
and we um, after the reception my brother um, uh, took me upstairs to the Baroque section and I saw a work by Velasquez um, the uh, he was a court painter and um, I just fell in love with that little painting I saw his technique and and um, uh, so I spent you know um, um, ever since then I've been studying uh, the works of um, Diego Velasquez his uh, brush work his um, his color palette you know, as you stand up close all you see is just um, brush strokes and different patches of colors and but then as you stand off, as you gradually back away, then the images start to come together. This is my family. And, and then this was my little pet at the time, little pit bull. And um, uh, so also I, um, this shepherd was um, one of my dogs. And uh, that's my mother and father. That's reflected in the mirror. Um, my brother John, my um, three sisters and brother uh, Russell, and of course the artist right here. Yeah. So it's, it, it, it depends on how you want to look at it. What is the importance of having access to fine art in a rural place? Mm. Well, uh, my my brother and uh, my um, sister that was studying um, doing her undergraduate work when I was just um, uh, in the grade school, um, and then she would, you know, bring um, her art books home, and I could look in those books and and um, you know learn about different little techniques and uh, that was m you know one of my outlets but we didn't really have you know there weren't any um, uh, I didn't take art in the public schools until uh, I was in the ninth grade you know we just didn't have um, um, you know we didn't have like an art program in the lower grades and uh, so and then in then you know high school um, when I started in the ninth grade it was just very limited do you think it would have made a difference uh, I, oh it would would have would, would, it, it would have and um, you know looking for inspiration and uh, and we just didn't have it you know uh, but but um, you know I could see if you know something like this and could meet an artist and then talk with them and and um, uh, it would make a big difference it would have made a great difference but you had to go with what you had <laughs>